Day three of seven days to mastering your mental game. I hope you've come back super pumped after yesterday's goal setting session and you're ready and motivated to train like you've never trained before. So today, real simple, you've heard me mention this word a lot. This is gonna be the theme throughout the rest of the course. The theme is process. The power of the process. So what does this mean? Well, ultimately, when we're focused on the process, we're controlling things that we can control. So I look at it like this with a lot of the players that I work with, elite juniors, collegiate level players, touring professionals that play for lots of money. When they play, I ask them to be at the bottom of the triangle. This is where the process is. I say, put your brain at the base of the triangle because then we are 100% in control. If we are 100% in control, we will be relaxed. If we are relaxed, tension is free from our body. If tension is free from our body, that allows us to access better golf swings. So, placing your mind at the bottom of the triangle on the process actually helps you swing the golf club better. Now, a lot of players, they focus on the top of the triangle. Outcome, which it's not 100% controllable, low control. So when you're at the top of the triangle and you're not in control, what can happen is your feelings can change. You can actually start to become nervous or angry. Probably nervous if you're going into the future and saying, I have to get par, 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 par to win. If I can just get those pars, I'm gonna win. All my dreams are gonna come true. Well, you can't control making par and you can't control winning. So that gets you to be nervous. Angry would generally be, oh my God, why did you three put? Why did you three put? If you didn't three put, you'd only be five over now, not six over, you idiot. Going back, time traveling into the past gets you angry. And we don't want that. We wanna be in the present. To focus on the process, to be at the bottom of the triangle is to be in the present. Now, when our feelings change, Often then what happens is our body changes. So we're now really nervous because we're thinking about what the next few holes can lead to, or we're really angry because we're frustrated at what happened behind. So what then happens, tension manifests in our body. Tension manifests, we get tight, or our heart rate increases. And now we're not in what we would call a physiological state, our psychology, where we're focusing has changed our physiology because now we're at the top of the triangle, our body is all messed up. Now our brain knows this. So then our mind, it starts to focus on things it shouldn't be focusing on. And all of a sudden, you just tried to hit nine iron 150 yards into the wind because your mind is so focused on other things, you forgot to look at the wind and you hit this ball real good, but it comes up 20 yards short. And then, ultimately, this impacts on our swing. Our mind moves the body, the body moves the club, and the club moves the ball. So, if we are process focused, we are 100% in control, we are at the bottom of the triangle, we are relaxed. If we climb the triangle, if we start to focus on score or outcomes, low control, we get stressed. Our feelings change, we begin to get nervous and angry. Our body responds to those changes. Our mind then starts to go all over the place and that impacts our golf swing. So, today I'm gonna teach you how to stay at the bottom of the triangle 
with one very, very, very simple method of breathing. We're not gonna do it in here, enough of the classroom, let's get out to the golf range and you guys are gonna learn how to breathe to help you stay at the bottom of the triangle, keep your mind and body in the right place so that you can access your best golf swing more often.